going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leverage to technology, and I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. But every stock, every bond, every currency, every commodity, every piece of art, every private business, every piece of real estate will eventually be a token on a blockchain, an entry on a ledger, permanent and immutable. We will have truth instead of trust. And we will save over $7 trillion a year. Six to 8% of global GDP is wasted by the friction of the trust industry that's necessary when you have dual entry accounting. With triple entry accounting, which is what a blockchain is, mm -hmm. we get rid of all of that friction. It's a beautiful future. Like what you see in China and their social credit scoring systems, right? If we get identity wrong, you know, it could be a tool to enslave humanity. And if we get it right, it could be a tool to liberate humanity. And as an American, you know, uh, uh, I'm obviously rooting for the, the one that's on the side of freedom. Bitcoin is an international asset. And also, I do believe the role of crypto is, um, it is, it, it, it's digitizing gold. I actually believe this technology is going to be very important. I am, I, you know, look at it. We have been part of a huge revolution in investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means, well, people are investing it f for indexing. No, the majority of people who are putting money in an index, in an ETFs are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we can have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial uh, seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. The Chinese bank ICBC has been hit by a ransomware attack, and the U.S. Treasury market, as a result of that, um, has been disrupted. This, according to the Financial Times, we're going to get more right now with Bloomberg's Shanali Bassick. Shanali, what do we know? Uh, listen, we have the Financial Times now reporting that ICBC, one of China's largest banks here, was hit with a ransomware attack. And remember, they're a, a, a very significant intermediary in the Treasury market. The SIFMA has told told his members that this has been part of the reason here uh, that the system has kind of clogged up, if you will, during that auction that we saw a little bit before. The attack had prevented ICBC, according to the Financial Times, from settling treasury trades on behalf of other market participants. A large executive at a major bank also telling the paper that such a large party on the fixed income clearing corp uh, creates major concerns, uh, potentially impacting the liquidity of treasury markets. Now it was not just the poor auction. It was absolutely lousy, and, and uh, uh, you know, when, when the dealers have to step in to save a treasury auction, uh, that's a rare occurrence. And Welcome to the Crypto Teacher, and guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works, because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book. Remember, the New World Order book shows you how the world really works, and it is definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. 
And 2024 is going to be one of our most entertaining years. We have the presidential election. We have the drums of beating. We have the emerging markets going to be flipping the switch on the fourth industrial revolution. Now, we had the Fed signal rate cuts, but remember, guys, they haven't cut rates yet. So like I told you, I definitely see a big pullback in the first quarter. Then the master magician set up a distraction so the Fed can cut rates, and then we move up. And also, guys, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. Guys, if you're not a part of the Patreon, make sure you're donating to the channel through the actual Cash App. But guys, this next Bitcoin and crypto bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure you have the cryptos that have real utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And right now, we have Bitcoin and crypto moving up. And guys, don't forget we have options tomorrow. And right now, the Nasdaq is slightly down. Now, make sure you watch the video I did last night with Gary Gensler. He's sticking to the narrative. Bitcoin is not used in everyday life. And then also Bitcoin is used for illicit activity and the blockchain makes no big deal. Yes, we know we heard the opposite at MIT, but guys, we know his job is to get us over to the fourth industrial revolution. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now guys, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates which are being pushed down and we know they're being pushed down to manipulate markets. And like this article says, retail sales slow. So that's the reason why yield rates pull back. But guys, if the Fed is not lowering rates, it makes no sense for yield rates to be pulling back. They should be steady moving up, but they're not because we know they're going to manipulate them down. And then we have the dollar down. We have Tether and USDC. And we have DeFi lender Moonwell enables USDC lending throughout Ethereum. And we see Tether and USDC making its way globally. And like Jerome Powell stated yesterday, a stable coin regulation is coming and everything is going to fall back in the lap of the Fed. And remember the crypto teacher told you. And speaking of the Fed, we have the repo at $575 billion, And we know that's one way they manipulate yields. And we have Bitcoin hits record high in yen terms reflecting stress on Japan fiat currency. And we see in Asia and South America, stable coins are taking off because we see the fiat is dying. In America, our fiat is dying. But of course, we have the Fed, the World Reserve Currency, where they're just holding it up. The United States World Reserve Currency is definitely over. We're going to a level playing field with these digital currencies. And we're going to see the rise of the BRICS nations led by China the Dragon with that digital yuan backed by that digital SDR. And remember the crypto teacher told you. And then we have the spot Bitcoin ETFs. We have Grayscale, BlackRock, Fidelity. And we had Gary Gensler clarify the same thing that Jim Cramer has stated. They're not ETFs, they're ETPs. Now, we had inflows bigger in the last four days than it's been for the last four weeks. And guys, we know this is all reallocation of funds. And that's the reason why we see so much money moving around. It's not just in crypto, it's on the stock market also. Now, we had gold ETFs down $2.4 billion so far this year as Bitcoin ETFs hit record volumes. But guys, we know the central banks are buying gold. They're not buying Bitcoin. The government is getting Bitcoin free of charge. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, we had Valentine's Day brings in over $631 million led by BlackRock. Now, getting over into a little crypto news. We have Telefonica partners with Chainlink for SIM card security. And remember what Gary Gensler stated. Blockchain is no big deal. Now we have food company Mondelez International 
joins HBAR to experiment with distribution ledger technology. And we saw the supply chain get disrupted. And we know it got disrupted for a reason. And all the issues that we saw, we know blockchain is going to fix every last one of them. And not a human involved. You won't have to worry about theft. And then when you add an AI, you don't have to worry about the surplus. You know exactly what is needed. And that's why all this data is so important because they're going to know you better than you know yourself. Now we have Clayton and Finchia merger Greenlit to form Asia's largest Web3 ecosystem. And where is the fourth industrial revolution going to rise? That's right, in the emerging markets. Now we have U.S. cyber authorities investigate Binance Trust Wallet iOS app for vulnerabilities. And basically they're saying whether they can hack it or not. That's why I tell you guys, all hacks are inside jobs. Now we have BitTorrent surges 12% as Justin Sun burns Tron. Now we have Coinbase surges 37%. This month as Bitcoin surges. But guess what? That's right. We have Kathy Woods of ARK Invest sales Coinbase shares for the first time in a month. So guys, we know she's selling at the top. Kathy Wood has bought Coinbase at the top and she's bought it at the bottom. But she knows like we know these markets are definitely going to pull back because none of it is real. As long as you can wrap your mind around the whole stock market is manipulated, ran by an algorithm. There's no such thing, guys, as a $3 trillion company. And remember the crypto teacher told you. And lastly, we have Citibank test tokenization of private equity funds on Avalanche. And we are constantly seeing the real use cases by legacy big corporations and they're integrating these digital asset technology. Remember, the big banks and big corporations are going to pick the winners and losers. And we're only going to have 1% of the 1% survive. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Because he knows, when it comes to the NWO, it's all planned out. But guess all I have for you. Don't forget about the books. Crypto teacher and the new world order book, plus the three kids' books, it's time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, Bitchu, Binance. Do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys. Don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip size, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get on stocks. The see where the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1, King Yahshua and Drama Team. Save the village. Part 2, King Yahshua and Drama Team. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3, King Yahshua and Drama Team. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series.
It's time to re-educate Generation Z.